Hi friends! Welcome back to another ukulele tutorial. Today we're looking at the song, He Went to Paris. This is a beautiful Jimmy Buffett song, and I love that it tells a story. We'll look at three ways to play this song, starting with a strumming pattern, and then moving into two beautiful finger-picking patterns. The song is made up of four verses, and they're all played the same way, using the same chord progression. So we'll look at verse one, using our strumming pattern, and then verses two and three using our finger picking patterns. When we get to verse four, I'm going to give you some bonus finger style options that make the song sound extra beautiful. Throughout this lesson, you'll find the lyrics, chords, patterns, and finger style options on screen. And you can download all of this as a PDF from my Patreon page along with my songbook that has all of the songs that I've shared in my tutorials. You'll find the link down below in the video description. After the tutorial, I hope you'll join me for a play along where I'll play through the entire song and you can play along with me. I'm playing a tenor with a low G. If you have a high G on your instrument, you can follow this entire tutorial. Just keep in mind that the finger picking patterns and the finger style options will sound a bit different on your instrument because your fourth string is one octave higher than mine, but you can still follow all of the patterns and finger style options. Now let's start by taking a look at the three chords that are in this song. If you're already familiar with these chords and how to transition back and forth between them, then skip ahead to our first pattern. Our first chord is G. G with my index and middle fingers on the second fret of strings three and one, and my ring finger on the third fret of the second string. Next we have our C chord, which is the third fret of the first string. You can play this either with your ring finger or your pinky, and for this song you may prefer to play it with your pinky because it's easier to transition from C to G and also from C to D7, where we're going next. So I like to play C with my pinky. You can use your ring finger if you prefer. Now going to our D7 chord, we're going to place our ring finger, middle finger, and index finger down on the second fret of strings two, three, and four. So in this song, we'll transition from G, to C, and back to G. We'll also transition from C to D7, and back to C. And the trickier transition that we'll do in this song is from D7 to G. Here we have a bigger change in our hand positioning. So starting on D7, to go to G, we'll move our index finger down one string, place our middle finger on the first string, and then our ring finger on the second string. Now we're moving into our first pattern, which is our strumming pattern. Here's how this one sounds. Let's take a close look at how to play this pattern and how to apply it to our first verse. Here's our first pattern played slowly on a G chord. The strumming here is down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. The rhythm is one and two and three and four and. On the up strum, you may catch the first couple of strings, and that's okay. It's not necessary to catch all four. As you bring this pattern up to the tempo of this song, it will sound like this. One nice variation on this pattern is to play the second down strum as an arpeggio or a broken chord. You can do this either with your index finger or with your thumb if you're strumming with your thumb 
or you can use your ring, middle, and index fingers to play through all four strings in sequence. Here's how it sounds to apply this to our pattern. Looking at verse 1, we're starting on our G chord. We'll play our pattern twice on G, and then we're going to our C chord for one pattern, and then back to G for one pattern. In line 2, we stay on G for two patterns, C for one pattern, and then we go to D7 for two patterns. In line three, we go back to our C chord for one pattern, then to G for one pattern, then once more on C, Seven for two patterns, and in line four we start on G once again for two patterns, and now our C and D7 chords are each held for only two beats. So when we go to C we're going to play a down strum and then a down strum on D7. Then we finish this line on our G chord with two patterns. Now I'll play through the entire first verse, adding in the lyrics. He went to Paris looking for answers to questions that If you're enjoying this lesson, please hit the like button, and thank you so much for subscribing. Now we're moving into our second pattern, which is a finger picking pattern. Let's take a close look at this pattern and how to apply it to our second verse. Here's our second pattern played slowly on a G chord. Playing strings four down to one with my thumb, index finger, middle finger, and ring finger. Then I'm going back to string three with my index finger and finishing on string two with my middle finger. The rhythm of this pattern is one and two. Bringing this pattern up to the tempo of our song sounds like this. For any of the verses, we're going to apply the second pattern the same number of times to our chords as we did our first pattern with our first verse, because all of the verses are played the same way. One thing that I want to highlight using this pattern is on line four of the verses. So we'll start on our G chord on line four and play our pattern twice. And then similarly to our first verse with our first pattern, when we go to our C chord, we can do one arpeggio through all four strings 
Or, since we're finger picking this pattern, I like to pick all four strings at once. Then we'll do the same going to our D7 chord, and then we go to our G chord and back to our pattern. Now I'll use this second pattern to play through verse 2. He went to England, played the piano, and married an actress named Kim. They had a fine life, she was a good wife, and bore him a young son named Jim. And all of the answers to all of the questions locked in his attic one day. Look at this one and verse 3. Here's our third pattern played slowly on a G chord. I'm starting with an arpeggio, a slow down strum through all four strings using my index finger. Then I'm picking string 4 with my thumb strings 1 and 2 together with my middle and ring fingers, then I'm going back to string 4 with my thumb, and finishing on string 3 with my index finger. The rhythm of this pattern is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Bringing this pattern up to the tempo of this song will sound like this. Now taking a look at verse 3, our chord progression is the same as in verses 1 and 2. So we'll apply this third pattern the same number of times we did our first and second pattern to any of the verses. I will point out that in line 4, we start on our G chord with two patterns, and then once again here, we can finger pick all four strings on our C chord and our D7 chord, because each of these chords is held for only two beats, and then we'll go back to our G chord for two patterns. Next I'll play through verse 3. Well the water kiss baby Mom's kid is lady and left him with only one eye His body was battered His whole world was shattered and all he could do was just cry While the tears were falling he was recalling the answers he never patterns, I'm going to give you some beautiful finger style options that you can apply to the ends of lines 2, 3, and 4. The chords at the end of these lines, D7 and G, are held for 8 beats, so it's a great way to add some beautiful notes at the end of these lines, especially where we're not singing any lyrics. Here's an example of what one of these sounds like. So let's take a close look at these finger style options and how to apply them to our verses. Here's our first finger picking option on D7. For 
this one, I'm starting by picking all four strings at the same time on our D7 chord. Then I'm picking string four, three, and then we have a hammer on on the second string. So we'll play the open second string and hammer onto the second fret using our ring finger. Then we go back to string four, three, two, three, and we finish by playing strings one and two together. Here's how it looks to play this slowly. Now here's our second finger picking option on D7. I'm starting on our D7 chord playing an arpeggio down strum through all four strings. Then I'm picking the fourth string and then I'm doing a hammer on onto the third string using my middle finger. So I'm playing the open third string and hammering onto the second fret. If you're not yet comfortable with hammer-ons, then you can pick each of these notes. Then we're doing another hammer-on onto the second string. I'm playing the open second string and hammering onto the second fret using my ring finger. Then we're going to pick strings one and two together, then pick the third string, and then we're going to lift up our pinky to play strings one and two together once more. Here's how it looks to play this slowly. And finally, we have our finger picking option on our G chord. This one, we're starting on our G chord, playing an arpeggio through all four strings. Then we'll pick string four, and then we'll do a hammer on on the third string. So starting with our open third string, we'll hammer on to the second fret using our index finger. Then we'll pick the second string, and then we have another hammer on on the first string. So we'll play the open first string and hammer on to the second fret using our middle finger. Then we pick string four, three, and we finish with strings one and two together. Here's how it looks to play this slowly. Let's look at how to apply these options to our song. Because each of these options is eight beats long, we're going to apply them to our D7 and G chords at the end of lines two, three, and four. Each of these chords is held for eight beats, and because we're not singing any lyrics over these chords, it's a great place to play these options. So taking a look at line two of any of the verses, we're starting on our G chord, and we'll play our second pattern twice on G. Then we'll play our pattern once on C. And then when we go to D7, we're not going to play our pattern. We're going to go right into one of our options. So we can go into option one here on our D7 chord. Moving into line three of any of the verses, we're starting on our C chord, and I'm going to play our third pattern. So once on C, and then once on G, once again on C, and then when we 
we go to our D7 chord at the end of line three, we're not going to play our pattern. We'll go right into one of our finger picking options. So here I'm going to play our second option. For line four of the verses, we're going to our G chord and I'll stay on our third pattern here. Then we'll pick all four strings on C and all four strings on D7. And when we get to our G chord at the end of line four, we're going to go right into our finger picking option. Now I'll apply all of this to verse four using our second pattern on lines one and two and our third pattern on lines three and four and applying our finger picking options to our D7 and G chords at the ends of lines two, three, and four. Now he lives in the islands, fishes the pylons, and drinks his green label each day. He's writing his memoirs and losing his hearing, but he don't care what most people say. Through 86 years of perpetual motion, if he likes you, he'll smile and he'll say, Jimmy, some of it's magic and some of it's tragic, but I had a good life all the way. all four verses and there's one more piece of the song left to cover. This is the outro. It's one line that ends the song. So let's take a look at how to play it. For our outro, we're going to play any of our patterns twice on G, once on C, once on D7, and then twice on G. We have a few options here. One is that when we get to our D7 chord, Instead of playing the pattern, I like to play an arpeggio downstrum or pick all four strings just to add some dramatic suspension before we get to that final G chord. Another option when we do get to that final G chord is we can play two patterns on G using patterns one, two, or three or this is another great place to apply our finger picking option. Here's how it looks to play through the outro with the lyrics using our second pattern. He went to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so. into our play along. I'm going to play through the entire song instrumental only so that you can really hear how I move back and forth between the different patterns as well as sprinkle in the finger style options at the end of lines two, three, or four. The chords and lyrics will be on screen so you can play along with me and if you'd like you can also sing the lyrics. Five, six, seven, eight.
days to play He Went to Paris. Have fun practicing this song and thanks for watching. He went to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so.